Craig Joubert achieved the ultimate accolade of refereeing the World Cup final four years ago. The selectors only made their decision during the week leading up to the game. Paddy O'Brien was the referee's manager. He called a meeting to share with the group who the officials were going to be for the final. So it was a really special moment. You know, I found out um, at the same time as all my peers and in front of all my peers. So it was, uh, it was a pretty cool feeling. It's an enormous responsibility, but an enormous privilege. Something which you never take for granted or never um, assume you're ever going to be in line for. So, you know, for someone who'd grown up dreaming about, about that moment, it was, it was really special. When I walked into the change rooms, as we always do before the game, to chat to the players and check the boots, I could sense that this was a big occasion, that there was a tenseness amongst the players. And certainly, you know, I'm not too proud to admit that I, I get nervous before games. Um, and obviously, being a World Cup final, you know, I was, I was nervous and excited and, and wired up and ready to go. But the really interesting thing is, so whilst in the, in the, in the build-up to the game, you sense that, when you run out on the field, certainly all that tension uh, just gets focused into from a playing perspective, the you know the guys going out and, and playing the game, and I didn't sense that uh, during the game, and and certainly from our perspective, once we kicked off and the and the, uh, and the whistle blew, it, it was great to just be in in the game and 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 business as usual. So I loved this moment, you know, I loved the response of of the French to the hucker and and you know really coming towards the, the All Blacks as, a, as a, you know, a real solid unit. I just thought this was fantastic theatre. It was a great start to a World Cup final. For me, tries are the, um, you know, the highlight of any rugby game is, is, when, is when team scores tries. So, you know, Woodcock's try from a different line-out move and, and Doucetois' try after a period of sustained French pressure were, were certainly uh, moments that I remember from the game. The French had a good pack, you know, and they, and they scrummed well that day, and they scrummed well in that final. They put a lot of pressure on the All Blacks scrum, um, I think it was about 38 metres out, and forced the All Blacks back, and, and, um, and I rewarded them for that dominance with a penalty. This is a good French scrum, and it's a penalty. It was at this moment in the final that I knew that I had the courage to make a defining decision, if it was clear and obvious. And, you know, that was a clear and obvious decision with 15 minutes to go, I was very comfortable to make it. You know, and at this stage of the game with 10 minutes to go, I just remember thinking of, during this passage of play, just physically to keep working hard. You know, I've put in months and months of work physically to get to this point where you know, I can put myself in the best position to be able to make the best decisions. And, and just in the last 10 minutes of the game, just working so hard physically to make sure that I was in the best position to make the best decision. And they're off side. Like any other game, I did a self-review of that cup final. And I think what's important to know is that I'm not perfect. So of course there were learnings. Of course there were things that I'd do differently. But at the same time, like what was a real learning for me out of that game was to realize that when you're in a big final and there's one point in it for the last half an hour, an enormous amount of scrutiny comes on every decision and every non-decision. One could fear that, that scrutiny or one could so want to be in the environment uh, that you embrace that scrutiny and accept it for what it is. I, I love being in the arena. I love the big occasion. Um, I love the pressure that comes with that. And so I accept that the scrutiny, the additional scrutiny that comes on in those big environments is a consequence of being in the arena. And it's a thrill that I wouldn't give up for the world. It's, it's, I have a burning desire to be in that arena. And it's, uh, it's a real thrill that you probably can't explain to anyone.